Welcome back, multifamily investors. We're checking out the latest inventory that hit over the weekend or came back on the market today. Uh, it is Monday, April 10th. Let's check out the first duplex in King. Looks like one in Seattle, North Seattle. Been on the market a while, almost a month. We'll take a quick glance at it again. Yeah, this is that nice updated one. It's more of a single family with a dadu detached ex accessory dwelling unit right there. So uh, not not really going to fit with a lot of my clients. Duplex in Kitsap. We have two. One that was on three weeks. One that's been on a couple weeks. I just we've reviewed this one on uh, Cambrian a couple times. It just keeps coming back on. It won't finance with FHA, so I think that's holding it up. But let me just take a quick look. We have this one, Port Orchard. Um, Let's, oh, this is the one I think with some water views that we've covered before too. It's more like a single family again, a little dated, but clean. We have views, you can see that out there, the water. It's a little bit of cleanup, not too bad, 47. Uh, says it's a two one with a one one down below. Uh, built in 67, probably some good bones. Um, that, that would probably go pretty quick. And this is the one on Cambrian Yards. Yeah, Having terrible sticking, there's been a, it's been uh, tied up a couple times with a couple different buyers, but keeps backing out. And uh, Rebecca did confirm for me today that it was if FHA is holding it up more than anything, probably. And we got four duplexes in Pierce, two new ones that just hit. Um, one at Gate Harbor, three in Tacoma. One's been on the market a while. Let's take a look at these again. Remodeled duplex in Gate Harbor. That's. Uh, Pretty nice, probably fake touched up picture for grass. You might guess because of the time of year. Wood fireplace. Love it. Garage. It looks even fence fence backyard. Is that we see, do we see that? Yeah, fence back. Oh, it's chain link fence. So that at least gives some tenants privacy with pets or whatever. Probably on septic, yep. Two bed, one bath, 840 square feet. It's, these are pro forma rents, I'm sure, uh, at almost 2,000. Great house hack thing, but you know, this is, I think that's probably still a little rich or most uh, 650, 675 uh, for a duplex like that. Here's one in Tacoma, uh, central Tacoma. There's small one beds. I remember seeing this one too, uh, come up in my email this morning. It's a one one on one side, one one on the other. One's twelve ninety five, one's nine ninety five. So you got three hundred bucks and opportunity to bump on that at least. Nineteen twenty three, so it's a hundred year old property. Um, probably needs a little bit of work. Let's just take a quick look. Close to hospitals, downtown Tacoma. Oh, you got a garage that comes with the property. Looks like it. Um, the cool trim, you know, from a hundred years ago. Still does look like it has some popcorn ceilings. Flooring looks newer. Mm, some tiles, that's some updates over the last few decades. Probably a great little property. Oh, it has some attic space. Let's see, that's unusual. What are these actually two? How do we see? Are these two houses or is it actually a duplex? It says, uh, I'm just looking. Sorry, because uh, that kind of looked like it was too single hot, but it's got, it looks like it's a Rambler style. I have to check that one out. I'm going to actually save that one, go back here. We'll save that one. Multifamily, I have to run some numbers on that. Craftsman with an ADU, single family. Um, not too excited about that. And this one's been on the market a while. I'll keep coming back on. It's kind of a junky looking listing, not a lot of details, junky looking property. You wonder why it's sitting. Not really. Okay, uh, how about the Snohomish? We've got one that's been on for 10 days, so these came back on or had price reductions, like everything that we're covering here. Yep, that one, I remember that. We covered that last week. And this big one, it's a mixed style. Uh, I thought, I don't know, it's the same. 2-2 two, two and a 2-2, two, two, both 1270 square feet. Uh, but one, I don't know why the garages are different like that then. I was thinking of a different property where there was 3-2 and a 2-2. Two, two. 850, but that's up by Marysville, Snohomish County. Um, let's see, we've got a quad and king. It's pending with a backup offer. This is that same one. So pending backup request, it means that uh, they're probably not feeling real warm and fuzzy about the buyers under contract. 
so there might be a chance to get this one locked up and take seconds second second place automatically if, if it fell apart uh let's see we're gonna uh, there's a quad in summer that's everett back on the market a price reduction it's old 100 year old property 120 year old property two twos and two ones rents are really pretty low uh, my guess is probably a lot of deferred maintenance and everything as well for a million dollars uh let's see we've got a triplex and pierce two triplexes one came back on or a price reduction and this one for 625 on g i think i covered that as well oh this is the mixed use so i'm not gonna cover that one yeah and this one i believe went it went penny pretty quick but it went back on uh it has a variety of uh different unit here unit mix two one three one and a three two 1922 not pending waiting on mls to correct okay there you go and one five plus unit federal way or no i'm sorry not federal way, seattle i saw federal i was thinking federal way two fantastic op properties on separate tax parcels capitol hill so you've got it looks like a duplex and a fourplex so that's why they're listed they put they listed it under you know uh, commercial five plus properties unit property so 120 years old i have my thoughts on capitol hill that i will not share right now um seller financing multifamily seattle eight units came on the market just four days ago this is that uh, classic historic looking one, really cool looking property. Uh, eight units, the Lismore Apartments in Capitol Hill. It's advertised at a 4.6 cap. So lots uh, holding out for the all cash 1031 buyers or something like that. And nothing in Thurston, that's disappointing. Okay, that's it for today. And uh, thank you for watching.